I love Elden Ring, but over a year later, sometimes I wish I could experience the game and its difficulty for the first time again. Enter the Ascended mod, an overhaul mod that is best described as the Elden Ring of Elden Ring mods. According to the creator, only 5% of players complete the mod. And today, I take that challenge and then some more. I will be playing the Age of Death mode, which out of the three difficulty options, is the absolute hardest one. The changes that this mod makes will be on screen. With that being said, let's begin this madness. The descriptions of things, it actually says like on exactly what it does. So for example, raise charge attack power of a sorceries. Everything's going to have a certain effect. So, you know, this gives us more FP, more mind. They put like little minions. Oh God. Yep. Oh, we're already dead. Okay, that's fine. All right, so here we are. But as you can see, if we use this spell right here, we're going to go ahead and fire three of them, which is beautiful in my opinion. So basically everything's going to hit harder, everything's more aggressive, but we will also hit harder and runes are a lot easier to get. For example, if we clear like a starter dungeon and Limgrave, we might get like 300k runes or something like crazy. But then again, Radon is going to have like 200,000 health or something like it all evens out. I'll probably end up using spirits this run because it seems like it's going to be really hard. As you can see, there's a Loretta in the bottom right. It's already aggroed onto us, and if you see these swords, but that's what we're dealing with. So that kind of gives you a good baseline for how the mod's going to go. So yeah, as you can see, Loretta really doesn't like us for whatever reason. Can I? Let's see how much damage we do with this. Nice. All right. Okay, my goal is to simply get to the church or get somewhere. Loretta is way harder than any boss that normally exists. We are poisoned. We're already dying. But there's no way I'm getting out of here alive, right? Oh, I do have like one of the poison things. On. Okay, wait, this could work. One more hit. Oh my god. Oh my god, I still do no damage. Okay, at least we got the grace. That's a good step in the right direction, dude. Holy. Items, you get like 20 of it instead of getting like one, which is quite nice. I'm just glad that it's not like, oh wait. I was going to say it's not randomized, but shoot, it might as well be with these hands. Oh, we're poisoned. I have like no poise. Okay, it's fine. Well, at least we have our horse now. One thing that's good is that because we have passive FP regen, I guess we can afford like that would patches be the move because that's the only thing i can think of personally patches or like maybe pumpkin head but the thing is, is that most likely both of those are gonna have like other like bosses and stuff inside all right what just happens uh i don't even know what to use here at least we have your uh here we go bam did he really dodge that Oh, whoa. Okay. Come on. Oh, wrong spell. Cool. Shouts out to Yura for carrying me right here. 65k? That is not bad at all. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, so we went from level 6 to level 35, and that was like a like nothing crazy fight, you know? Like I think intelligence is the way to go, to be honest. That plus that, probably. Oh, wait, this is actually... This is probably the Kaelid one, isn't it? I'm definitely in the wrong area. Oh yeah, this is actually the, just overall the wrong... Really? Really? Oh my god. Okay, well for one, I'm lost. But for two, they literally took out the chest and replaced it with like a boss. I don't even know. Okay. So far, it seems normal. So this might be another normal fight, which I could get behind. So let's go ahead and just try it out. Okay, it's a normal fight. We like this. Okay, that actually does. Wait, really? That was fast. Oh, these wolves are going to be on me, dude. What if I go around? You know what? I don't do sorcery often, so I'm going to need to figure out what spells I can get without, like, doing anything crazy. Also, I have 32,000 runes, and I don't think I did anything. Well, our health is growing pretty fast. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check Margit. Because for one, I want to get access to the round table. And then for two, I'd like to see what I'm dealing with. 
Oh, it's gonna die. Okay. That was actually not that bad, surprisingly. So it seems like if the item or if the spell does not do a projectile, it's basically terrible because see, that's only one. So the only spells that we want to focus on are things that have projectiles. Gonna level up some more. Oh my god, that is so much damage though. No, they're just not aggroed on me for whatever reason. Okay, honestly, not that bad. Oh god. Nope. I hate those things with a passion. Oh my god, that is so much damage. Okay, wait, this is totally doable though. What the? That was actually not that bad. All right, it's time to do the normal stuff, which is basically go and get more powerful by getting golden seeds, sacred tears, all that good stuff. Uh, we have 96 smithing stones, which is quite nice. So we're going to upgrade this like crazy. And bam. And he's cheating. And I'm playing like I just started the game again. Oh my god. Okay, good stuff. That's all normal. All normal. What could possibly go wrong? Recording some of it, but I just... This mod creator might be both a genius and also a terrible person all at the same time. Okay, hold on. We go to Caleb. You've got to be kidding me. That's funny. That's actually really funny. So, I mean, but shutting off that, that's so annoying. Now I have to walk all the way over. Uh, which is obviously way more dangerous than this mod. So I wonder... That makes me think that there's going to be a lot of other tricks that these guys are going to pull. I like this so far. It's... It kind of like makes Elden Ring a brand new game. Also, I kind of like big numbers because of dopamine. Who's this? I don't remember which one this one is. That's actually... That's actually really good. Uh, let me get out of here, please. The reason why that's good is because buff stack and so i can use that and stack up a bunch of like different buffs no you're not the boss you're the boss oh honestly as you should alexander you should always be the boss and it's dead oh i got 250 oh my god man it already is 11,000 for a level up though jesus Okay, as far as level ups go, it might be time to just go crazy with it. There we go. That's pretty good. We can definitely take on Margaret now. I'm just kind of like not playing the best, I suppose. Oh, I totally thought he was doing the other one. I didn't mean to do that. I'm playing so bad. It's ridiculous. All right. Oh my. Hello? Wait a second. Okay, hold on. Throw this. Holy, that there's, that is kind of cracks. Well, that's one way to take out a boss. Boss it. Boss it. Okay, I'll probably avoid using those in the future because that did feel a little bit cheesy. Oh god, he's charging it. Holy, okay, that was kind of scary. What the? Oh god. Oh no. Okay, it might be time to go explore elsewhere. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. So basically, we get the Black Flame spells, but the thing is, is we don't have the stats. But... Because of our mixed physic thing, we do have the stats because uh, it gives us 50 face. Nope, probably not. Prayer book. Nice. Uh, that one is Grail. Not here. Wait. Yeah, I don't think she is here. Oh my god, wait. There's so many dragons. The Kang one. That's not supposed to be here, I don't think, right? Wait, what? Okay... Wait, what's going on? 
Why can't I move? I want to get stuff for it. Oh, I'm so mad. At this point, I was exploring fairly aimlessly. I basically did all the dungeons that I could in Limgrave and then Kaled. There was too many dragons to get to basically anywhere and there was invisible walls for some reason. It was just really a bad time and I was getting frustrated. Oh, that's so much damage. Okay, we got this. There we go. Ooh. Raises all stats by five and it doesn't have any disadvantages, so say less. That is so good. Oh my god. Okay. Well, the main one is apparently like very squishy or something because we destroyed this guy. Kind of annoying that it goes for his head whenever you target him. Easy. Oh, we actually. Oh, we have so many runes. Hold on. It's fine. I was being stingy. Okay, so I've been at this for probably a solid 10 minutes. I'm finally making progress. I've been killing everything. And I think I'm finally going to make it to the, uh, the secluded cell. So that's kind of nice. Kind of taking it slow. And Black Flame is low-key carrying me. Oh, I guess not here, though. Yeah, I think we can just run for it at this point. I already know Godric's going to be a pain. Pretty sure I hear, like... I don't know what I hear, but I'm pretty sure I hear things behind the door. Which means that there's most likely going to be other things sitting in this area. Okay, wait, this might be not that bad, dare I say. Poison kind of sucks, but as long as Godric kind of... Oh, oh, that's going to be... I don't even know. Can I dodge that? That felt really bad. Oh, that's not the good attack. It's not the good attack. Hmm. There was two problems with Godric's fight. One of them was his wind blast attack, which basically tracks you like three times and seems to be near undodgeable unless you get really lucky. The other one is his wind circle attack. The debuff that it gives you, even if you don't get hit by it, but if you're just slightly near him, it reduces your FP and your health over time, and you'll get hit by it even if you don't get hit by the actual fire attack itself. And the icing on the cake is once he hits 50% health, he takes significantly reduced damage, and because he regens, it's basically a DPS race that I'm not winning. I don't think it's possible to kill or to, to stagger him. And I got hit by it. Oh my god. Damage is not bad, but he just regens so fast. Keep the damage up. We avoided that. That's really good. Ah, oh, that's silly. Come on. All right, stay close. Wait, oh, we did it. Was that just poison? I did not expect that. I thought we were gonna, like, I just zoned in, I guess, and we eventually did it. Roger, great rune, and another remembrance. So two remembrances. That's quite nice. Oh my god. That was so many attempts, I feel. Oh my god, we made it. After nearly 10 hours, by the way, we finally did it. 44k for a level up was pretty sad, I'm not gonna lie. But these claws definitely helped me a lot. The difference is pretty crazy. Okay, so from basically hour about 10 to 14, there is zero audio. There's no mic audio and there's no game audio. So to recap what happened during this time period. So pre 12 hours of this run, I was playing on the frenzy difficulty, which at the time was the hardest difficulty in the mod. But then at around 12 hours into the run, that was when the death mode difficulty came out, which makes everything even harder. The only major thing I did during this was I leveled up a little bit and then I got the Academy Glintstone key from the dragon that normally guards it, who actually drops it instead of guarding it. With that being said, let's go ahead and get back into the video. You know what? I think it's a run. I just need to see the damage. 20 blades that it lagged because i don't think that they were up here when i first started but it's not going to be the medallion is it yeah that's what i thought oh my god i did it 
I hate this game. Wait, no. I mean, oh wait, that's a lot of runes. What the hell? I will die inside if I if I lose those. I will not even lie to you, man. What? No way, dude. I'm so mad. Okay. Well, I just lost, I think, 19 million runes. Now, if we do the math on that, oh my god. 30 to 40 level. That's my guess. Possibly more. Dude, okay. Yeah, I gotta get off. Hey, there we go. This is who I was looking for. So, I've never used this before. Oh, but it actually shows you. That's so cool. What the? They just killed Bok. I, I missed it. No. Okay, so I have a new friend, and it's this little uh, magma worm Horax, or I don't know, it's a skeleton bandit dude, omen killer thing. I don't even know. He's really powerful. So I think that this is the push that I need in order to actually like do anything in this mod. I've been really against using spirits, but at this point, it's time. Let's go ahead and do this. A worm face. Oh my god, wait. My summon is soloing this thing. Beautiful. Spirits are really, really good, is what I'm finding out. And I should have used them sooner, is also what I'm finding out. This is for research purposes. Walk in and just go for it. Oh, he's getting melted, unfortunately. Actually, staying close is probably way better, but it's really hard to do that. 6,800 AR, okay? Like, there is just no way we should have any problems with this fight. We have magic fortification, so we're taking 80% reduced magic damage. If you stay, like, in that area, maybe I can, I can cheese you. I will do whatever it takes at this point. Oh my god, wait. Oh. Well, I feel, I feel kind of dumb for that one. Here we go. Huge damage. Wait, what, what is my gargoyle doing? Wait, what the? I don't know what we did right, but we did something right. I guess we just stacked more buffs. We did it. Oh my God. I swear to you, if I lost that, it was going to be it. Like that was going to be the end. We did it. This actually looks pretty normal. Okay, so it's sleep. All right, this is the real boss. Abductor Virgin, Burial Tree. I mean, it's pretty bad. I won't even lie to you. It's pretty bad. Damage good? Probably not. Okay, that's doable, maybe? And here we go. Oh my god, wait, hold on. Oh my god. Okay, I just need to get one more hit on you. Okay, wrong pots, I think. There we go. Okay, so holy water pots are apparently absolutely insane. There she is. Okay, so I'm trying to think of what's going to happen here. I'm going to guess two Radons. That is my guess here. Here we go. 
That's kind of annoying. Okay, this is the one boss I will gladly use. Or the one time I will gladly use these guys for. Okay, so far this doesn't seem that bad. Okay, that's a little scary. Oh. Okay, this is the bad attack. What am I supposed to do? He's kind of wrecking me right now. Okay, he's gone. I'm really afraid of this attack. I have a feeling I'm going to get like one shot or something crazy is about to happen. Oh, I was right. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going on a hunch and thinking that that's probably going to be impossible to dodge. I feel like I was definitely outside of the radius. So what that makes me think is that the one way I can dodge that is going to be through the opaline bubble tier. And I don't mean dodge, I mean more so survive. So that's my hunch. That's what we're going to do. We're going to wait until that happens and then we'll go ahead and use that tier and see what happens. Okay, as long as he doesn't do that one attack, we're fine. Oh, that's the attack. Okay, I don't know how I really survived that that time. I mean, I'm okay with it, but like, I don't really know what I did right there. I don't think my horse is going to do anything. What I'll do is I'll drop it and go here. Yeah, there we go. That's how you survive that. Man, I gotta say, they did so well on making Radon feel like a raid boss or something. If that's what their goal was, they killed it. Wait, he's doing it. He can do it more than once. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. OK, that's interesting. This is probably not what, what is actually happening, but there's a timer. And if you go past that timer, he does it again and essentially kills you or i just got unlucky like or that's a part of his basic move set basically and there's a chance that he'll just pull that out that's fine he should be piecing out oh i guess we have another attack to worry about now i need to be very very quick about like killing him before he does anything crazy okay i'm gonna stay at a mid range and hope oh no that's not what we want That's so annoying. This is so cheese. Okay. Okay, Radon is flat out unbearable in my opinion. This boss sucks because you have to worry about basically what is essentially three different one shots. And it just feels like an RNG like fest. And I'm sure that if I like grinded it out, eventually I could probably get it. But to be honest, yeah, I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. Like I just don't want to. At first, the mod was pretty cool, but honestly, I am not feeling the mod, and I feel like I feel like it's only gonna get worse from here, which is obviously kind of the point of the mod. But like, I am just burnt out, and I'm not really enjoying it. So, with that being said, that is all for now. I might come back to it later, but that is the end of the ascended mod for now. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and maybe I'll come back. Who knows?